Earlier this week, the Sioux Falls Little League team arrived in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the site of the Youth World Series tournament each year. Parker Brown is following the squad and supporters, and he is bringing us the latest from the Little League World Series tonight. Hey, Parker, how's it going out there? Hey Andrea, it's been a packed opening day at the Little League World Series and the Sioux Falls boys have been taking it all in. Of course, there's been a couple of days here that they've spent since coming in on Saturday, taking team pictures, going through practices and multiple events, but all that led up to the opening ceremony and the opening ceremony was very electric. Obviously, the buzz in central Pennsylvania was really, really incredible, leading up to 20 of the best teams in the world marching through one of the stadiums here. And Jack Morris, Hall of Fame pitcher, threw out a ceremonial first pitch. All that led up to some incredible games. The electric crowds and the best teams around the globe have descended on Williamsport for 11 straight days of action. For Sioux Falls head coach Nick Cortan, it's surreal to recognize the accomplishment of becoming the third Sioux Falls team to join the ranks of the 20 best squads in the world. It's been quite the experience watching these kids interact and engage with each other and using technology, using Google Translate to have conversations and I mean it just puts a smile on their face and they're enjoying every team's company and it's been a wild ride to watch. The players have now been on the road for two weeks and staying ready to play. For catcher and shortstop Bodie Beitler, the dream to make it here was strengthened by seeing his brother's team make it a few years ago. It's super cool. I mean, being here before when my brother played, I mean, it's just been super cool. Just the atmosphere and the field being so, like, perfect and pristine, it's just, it's just beautiful. Pitcher and left fielder Tate Reddy says that the team looks forward to playing at the tournament, and he believes they feed off of the energy of the crowd. Just how, like, packed it was and everybody cheering as soon as you walk out when they call your name, especially like the Midwest fans just screaming. If somebody is cheering for us and we're doing good, we just keep doing good. It's been a delicate balance for the team between enjoying this once in a lifetime experience and staying ready to be their best when they take the field. We're certainly here to have fun, but, but we're also here to play baseball. And that's what we've talked with the boys about is when it's not baseball time, let's go have fun. But when we need to focus on baseball, let's do that for an hour and a half and then we can go back to having Four fun. Little League Baseball World Series. So it's been an awesome day here, and this is just the beginning. Their first game of the tournament was tonight, and it didn't quite go as planned, but there's still another opportunity later on this week. As for the highlights of the game, Cooper Seamer will have that coming up shortly. Signing off on day one from Williamsport, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now.